<laughs> hey, everybody. Carbon is the welcome to Diamond Kings. We're 34 right now. Comes way. Box is a DK. Let's get her out. Ugh. Should start a new trash bag, but I'm gonna risk. I'm gonna risk it. I'm the one that's in here tomorrow anyway, so I'm gonna have to be the one to empty it before Jesse starts again. So. I don't care about that. RipCityCards.com for all of your breaking needs. The fistful of breaks, very close. Classics, World Cup, Dominion, Essentials. All purebred hotness. All right, what gloomy we've had. Good cards from every break that we have done so far this evening. So I wonder what goodness can come from this. I don't really recall there being anything particularly decent in the uh, in the first half of this. Let's see what we can get. Well, I'm at least, I'm not going to be happy with just an Otani Wolf. I mean, I need more. Otani doesn't do it for me anymore. Is it nice? Sure. Is he going to have a bunch of base cards in this? Yeah. I need something more. I need something way more. Let's just see if I can find it. Okay, two. You know, I think the one person I should have been asking about uh, my computer upgrade, I've not been uh, not, not, not been inquiring to. And that's Tomas.
Ecco. Well, I mean, dude, I mean, his stats are not bad. I mean, that's, I mean, I don't know if I don't know if people thought that he was gonna go like nineteen and zero with, uh, you know, two hundred strikeouts or something, and, and you know, hit three forty five with uh, forty seven home runs or something. I mean, but I mean, he's he's playing solid ball. Especially for somebody that hits and bats. So, I mean, super hype may be on its way down, but, I mean, long term, I mean, I do, I don't, I mean, I don't, I have no allegiance to the Angels or to him in particular. But, I mean, dang, to do what he's doing. To, to me is impressive. There are still takers for the uh, what is it, like like a hundred grand somebody's offering for uh, for a super. It was a Blaz, wasn't it? Blaz was offering like hundred G's for the super. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it was almost like Bryant, you know, kind of. I mean, like, I mean, the Chris Bryant hype train was crazy. It was not Otani crazy, but I mean, there was like, I mean, it got to a point that there, that he would never, ever live up to the expectations of what his cards were selling for. I mean, it just, I mean, it, dude, it hits for everybody. I mean, really. I mean, every year, somebody that is just like that the hype train is so hard, and you know, then like real, like reality hits. I mean, I would still be happy to pull his super. I'd still be very happy to pull a super. Caratini. Dual swatch for the Cubs. Mailman, uh, rookie to 49 frame. Kyle Farmer, short print. Flex and rookie. Greg Allen, red frame rookie. Ahmed Rosario, short print. I mean, listen, I might have sold some of them off, but I definitely would have held on to a handful. If, if if I had any, 
McGraw red frame. Winter variation. Uh, I'd have hung on to a couple. Just a half. Just a half. Bueller variation. Raphael Devers autographed to 50 for the Red Sox. New sports cards that and that would be nice to I mean to make it a little like a little more old school. Tapia autograph the Rockies. Virgo variation. Or that's that the Virgo is actually a short print. Tiny variation. Yeah, see, B dog that like I would. I mean, I would eat. I like, consider grading and then just like sit on. Bomb Gardner variation. I mean, for ten bucks, like you know, what, what's a hurt to sit on it for for a little bit? Buster Posey variation. George Brett Bat Kings swatch to uh, ninety nine. Yeah, you know what? I mean, Ninja Sports Car Breaks. I know, I know that feeling, Kyler. Like I got, uh, I got a Steve Spurrier autograph not too long ago out of like a flawless collegiate. And I was just like giddy. Uh, Cano. And I mean, there were cards a thousand times more valuable. Otani red frame. But it's what you like. I mean, that's I mean that's the fun thing about the I mean about the hobby. Like, you know, you can collect stuff. You can uh, have fun with it. But you know, it's it's. You know, it's what you like. Nick Williams. Ricky Signatures, Philadelphia. Mejia variation and uh, short print, I believe. Chrono red frame, Boston. Yeah, I. I'm trying to think if there's anything that's like even close. Brooks Robinson variation, uh, uh, prime cuts, like maybe a little bit focuses more like on. You know what I used to love, which like I mean they don't make anymore, but was to me like hella awesome. Um, 
what was oh, like 75th, 75th anniversary. It was all Hall of Fame on card autographs from Panini. Gary Sheffield, Bat Kings. I used to love opening that stuff. I think it was 75th anniversary. That is, um, there was there was two Hall of Fame on card autographs per box. A George Springer to ninety nine. There was no, I mean no memorabilia in it, but it but I mean it just Ty Cobb variation. The sweetness that came out of it. Jackie Robinson red frame. I used to love that. Albez uh, variation. I'm trying to think if you can. I mean, if you can, if you can ever find it, it wasn't. It was. It was never terribly expensive. But it was Panini 75th anniversary baseball. I mean, I mean, I'm talking like 75, like 80 dollars a box. Two. On card Hall of Fame autograph signatures in every box. Paul Blackburn variation. So I mean, it was it was hard. It was I mean, it was nearly impossible to break because there was only like I don't know, like I don't know seventeen teams involved in it. I mean, you know, like you know, the Rays have no Hall of Famers. Like it, so, I mean, it was so we never broke it. It was I always did it as personals. Mike Trout variation, but I mean, hell, I mean, hella fun, hella nice. I still have a couple of uh, a couple of autos from it that it was just like that. I just not they were on my list of players to have autographs from. McMahon red frame. A Lucas Sims swatch autograph to two ninety nine for the Braves. I always like I wonder about some of that stuff too, because like I mean we bought like tons and tons and tons of it. Like I wonder if there is like if anybody knows. Alex Bregman, uh, red frame. When products get like done, like when there are no more cases to be bought anywhere, you know, aside from like you know the random person like holding on to something, Cody Bellinger, but like you know, distributors have nothing. Blowout. DA, like, you know, they're all, you know, they're tapped. Roger Maris, red frame. Like, I would, I would, I would be curious to know, like, how many products are not available on the general market. Ryan Anderson, short print. Aaron Judge variation. All rise. Stanton variation. Short print, really, technically. Walker Bueller dual relic autograph for the Dodgers at two ninety nine. Oh, I want Wolf. What I want desperately is for Tops to trade to Panini their technology for like the uh, the scalloped edge pack that you can just like rip like super easy. And in exchange for Panini having like an easily rippable pack, Tops would get to me the football uh, license back. 
but I, I, I would be willing to uh, accept them getting the basketball in exchange for like the easy rippable pack. Mejia variation. Tyler Wade, red frame. David Ortiz, short print. A Joey Vato, Bat Kings, Cincinnati. Yeah, I mean, that's the, I mean, Diamond Kings was the first, like, big release after Bowman, I guess. Reese Hoskins. Red frame variation. I mean, and <clears throat> let's be real. I mean, Diamond Kings has got a crap ton of Otani base. A crap ton of it. Ty Cobb variation. I mean, he's got two different just straight base cards. One is a batter, one is a hitter. Then he's got two different short print, like high number variations. Then he's got all of the inside variations on it too. So there's like the, there are a turd ton of Otani cards in uh, Diamond Kings. Artist Pre Walker Bueller ninety nine. Altuve red frame variation. <coughs> Mm. B dog, I I agree with you for uh, for Diamond Kings. I mean, it it kind of dropped down in products after Diamond Kings. I feel like McCutcheon dual relic. But I mean, Diamond Kings definitely oversold. If they were, if they were, tr like, I mean, well, they clearly weren't, but, like, if they wanted it to be, like, any kind of, uh, like, short printed. Posed to 49. But, I mean, I feel like kind of everything else has been, like, relatively short printed for him base-wise. Harry Hooper variation. Uh, Otani red frame. And I don't know, man, it, it kind of, I don't know, it, I feel like it kind of hurt. Because, like, it was so hard to even, I mean, even, like, in tops, I mean, well, I mean, I guess, like, Heritage came out first. I mean, what, like, Heritage came out before Diamond Kings. And Heritage, even a base, was, like, a bitch to pull. Like, just near impossible. Mejia, high high number variation, high high number short print. Diamond Kings was the one that was like the the just out of nowhere, like, okay. You you, you want to know Tony, here you go. Del Monaco rookie autograph for Chicago. Senegard, high number. Short print. I still like Diamond Kings, though. I don't, I don't, regardless of whatever Otani stuff, 15, 16, 17, or 16, 17, and 18. Like, I, I, I like, I, I like Diamond Kings either way. Uh, Otani picture variation, black and white. Chris Sale, red frame variation. And that's it. 
All right, we have got uh, autographs for Nicky DeMonaco, Walker Bueller, La to 299, dual swatch autograph. A dual swatch autograph to 299 for Lucas Sims of the Braves. Nick Williams, uh, Philadelphia rookie signature. A Ramel Tapia, Colorado rookie signature. And a Rafael Devers to 50, Boston Red Sox rookie signature. Thank you, everybody. We'll get this right out to you.